Welcome back, Great World fans. We hope you have enjoyed our series on UFOs. So, for all of you fans of the unknown, here is another installment just for you. USS Nimitz Encounter 2004 A UFO sighting can happen anywhere. It's not just hikers in the woods that see strange things in the sky, and UFOs are not even always seen over land. Some eyewitnesses have described USOs, unidentified submerged objects. In 2017, declassified footage was released from the aircraft carrier USS Nimitz, who had encountered a USO during a training exercise that would become one of the best documented sightings of the 21st century. On November 14, 2004, about 100 miles southwest of San Diego, the USS Nimitz Carrier Strike Group, which included the USS Nimitz and missile carrier USS Princeton, were conducting training drills before shipping off to the Persian Gulf. At 2 p.m., two FA-18F Super Hornet fighter jets were ordered to cease maneuvers and head to new coordinates for a real-world task. The Princeton senior radar operator recorded objects the Navy calls AAVs. Princeton tracked over 100 AAVs over the course of a week at altitudes of 80,000 feet, much higher than commercial or military jets normally fly. The AAVs also dropped at incredible speed into busy airspace, making them a potential threat. When the FA-18s arrived at the coordinates, the lead pilot saw a disturbance in the ocean. The water was churning, and white waves were breaking over a large object just under the surface, and another object was flying about 50 feet above the water. O'Hare International Airport, 2006 On November 7, 2006, at approximately 4.15 p.m., pilots, airline management, and mechanics claimed they witnessed a metallic, flying saucer-like object hovering over gate C-17 of the United Airlines Terminal. It was described as dark gray, 6 to 24 feet in diameter. Some eyewitnesses said the craft appeared to be spinning and described it as silent. It appeared just below the 1,900-foot cloud layer and then shot off through the clouds at high velocity, leaving a circular hole in the clouds which closed in on itself afterwards. The sighting was made public by the Chicago Tribune. However, the FAA and the airline refused to investigate the incident, dismissing it as weather phenomena. East Coast Go Fast Video, 2015 In 2015, two more videos were shot by U.S. Navy pilots during training exercises, showing unidentified aerial phenomena. Onboard cameras and radar captured unidentified flying objects maneuvering at hypersonic speeds at altitudes of 30,000 feet. In the first video, called Gimbal, a crew member catches footage of an object that is traveling against the wind. One crew member states he believes it to be a drone. The second video, called Go Fast, shows a similar object that appears to be traveling over water. Neither flight crew had a clear determination of exactly what they were seeing, and to this day, the objects in question have not been identified. So what do you think? Does the Navy know that there are little green men out there coming and paying us visits? Or are there more earthbound explanations for what people are seeing? Let us know in our comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, it's a great world.